Hi, I'm Kathy Ann White. Uh, we're going to make some patterns today. One from an entire image, which is what you see on the screen right there, and then from pieces of an image. So let's start with the entire image. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to always do when I make a pattern is change, get rid of my background. So I double click here so that it unlocks my background. What happens if I don't unlock my background? I will either have black or white behind the image and that's not something that I want because I want a transparent background so it doesn't get involved with anything else. So next I'm going to look at the size of my image and my image is not anything I want to work with right now. So I'm going to change this to 240 resolution and then I'm going to kind of cheat here. I'm going to take the 0.6 off of the 13 and I'm going to take the 0.2 off of the 10 because it's not going to have a great deal uh, to do with what happens with the image. So it won't, it won't distort it at all. And what I'm going to then do is I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go to Invis. I'm going to try not to use any shortcuts here. Image canvas size. My canvas size is 13 by 10 because that's what this image is. But what I want to do is I want to double that. So I want to make that 26 by 20. And now I'm going to have a, a whole palette. I need this to fit to my window because I don't want any pieces of the canvas not to show so we know that we fill the whole thing. Now I'm going to move this up to the very top corner and just drop it in so it's there's only pixels at the edge of the screen but not going over because I don't want to lose any parts of this image as I'll show you. Now I am going to make a copy of this layer so actually we could go to layer, duplicate layer, or we could go to um, to do a command or a control J depending on your fruit on a PC or Mac. So now I've copied it and I've got two of these. So I'm going to lay this right next to the other one and then I am going to edit this by flipping it horizontally and that will mirror it. And that is right there. Okay, so this is going to make our other pattern piece. I'm going to mirror that. But first I want to show you something because you do not want to have any lines in the center of these images. So if I move this one pixel away, you can see the line. If I move it back together, you can't. But sometimes that changes as the image gets larger. So I'm going to actually take this up to 100%. You see up here I'm at 67. Ah! I hit the delete key. Seriously. Okay, so um, you can now see a pixel line and now you can't. You make sure at 100% there is no pixel line because it will show up in your pattern later. I don't always check this, but I just, if you do have a problem, I want you to know one thing that you might be able to look for. So I'm going to set this back to screen size. And now what I have to do is I have to merge these two layers because over here you can see they're separate and you need them together for a pattern. So I'm just going to go Shift Command E and that'll give me that. And um, it would be um, Control E, Shift Control E on a PC. So now I have my piece again and I can add a layer, duplicate layer, or do it with the shortcut Commander Control. Um, and then I just forgot what it was. Commander Control J. Oh, anyway. Um, so this piece here needs to be flipped vertically. So I'm going to flip it vertically if I can hold on to that. And then I'm going to pull it down to the bottom and flip it in. Now I have a complete pattern of that. So I'm going to merge this. I'm not going to check it again. I'm going to think that it's fine. And I'm going to merge that. This is your pattern. So it will be in a complete repeat so that I can use this in Photoshop then in my pattern palette. What I'm going to do is go up here to edit and I'm going to click define pattern. That will give me a pattern by the name of what this file is and I'll just click OK. So now I can use this 
to fill anything I want. I can use it in the paint bucket tool. I can use it in different ways. In order to show you what my pattern palette looks like, if I go to Edit Fill and I pick Pattern, you can see that I have a whole bunch of patterns here. And the one that I just created is down here. So if I wanted to fill this, I could actually fill it with the self, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to cancel that. And then we're going to take a look at, I think this pattern is exactly the same. No, this pattern isn't exactly the same. This is the opposite. This was, this pattern was done from the same image, but it was done with the base of the leaves coming together here. And this was done with the tips of the, the leaves coming together there. Okay, so now here's one other one that we're going to do. And this is just a tree. So I'm going to look at the image size to make sure I know what my resolution is. Now the reason you have to do this is because the file that you're going to open up to make this pattern needs to be the same exact resolution or it won't work properly. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to I'm going to decide, okay, say I want to do this 4 inches by 4 inch. So I'm going to open up a new file. I'm going to make the transparent background. I'm going to make the resolution the same as that. I'm going to make the file size double what I'm going to make my piece. So we'll do a 3 inch piece. So I'm going to do 6 inches here and click OK. Now I have a file. So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to my marquee tool. I'm going to click fix size and I'm going to make it three inches by three inches. That will give me my pattern size. So now I can come over here and I can just take a copy of that right there. Uh, command C or you can um, do a, command, a copy and a paste. So there's copy and there's paste. So now I'm going to go over here to this file and I'm going to drop that three inch square in. Now if you see these bars here then you have to make sure that you, if you can see it moves just a little teeny bit. I don't want that to happen so I'm going to make sure this fits on the screen because if it doesn't then I might have some pixels where you know vacant where I don't want them to be vacant. So I'll take my move tool and I'll move it up here. I'll do command or control J make a copy of it I'll go over here and I'll go to transform and flip it horizontally. Then I'll pull this across and I'll put it together. Then the next thing I do is I either merge visible or I do it with a um, shortcut. Now I'm going to do the same thing, Commander Control J and make another layer from that. Then I'm going to go up here and this time I have to flip it vertically so it will go in a continuation of itself here. Make a little bit of a pattern. And then you want to lock it where it needs to be. Then you can either go up to here and get your merge visible. Or you can do a shortcut. And there's your pattern. So now you do the same thing. And you go up here and you define your pattern. And then you have your pattern. So this video, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, just a quick look at making patterns from forests or any kind of images you want. And don't forget, if you like this video, click like below and subscribe to my channel so you will always get updated when I create videos on digital alternative surfaces, different ideas for Photoshop, and whatever else I come up with. Mm -hmm.